in your mind, what do you think makes an excellent business coach versus an, an okay business coach? What are the skill sets? So I think the skill sets are, well, there's, there's not one specific skill set, but I think what makes a good coach is someone that is willing to ask you difficult questions to help you question your own thinking. I think an eh coach is someone that more, that commiserates more with you and doesn't necessarily push you out of your comfort zone. A good coach is going to make is going to push you into the uncomfortable. Right? So there's something called um in the coaching world it's called the motivational triad. So as humans, all of us want three things. We want to things to be safe, efficient and easy right which means that we just want to stay in our comfort zone and kind of keep doing what we've been doing even though we might have the best intentions of changing things up we go we go back and it, this kind of goes back to cavemen like cavemen didn't want to leave the cave it could be scary but a real a good coach is going to continue to assure you that we are not in the caveman era anymore it is okay to leave the cave <laughs> we don't always have to be safe we can do things that are hard and they're going to help you move beyond where you are now. A meh coach or an eh coach is going to allow you almost to just stay in the comfortable. And the way usually you get, you get pushed out of the cave is by not, they can't force you to do anything. And they honestly can't necessarily hold you accountable. You have to hold yourself accountable, but they have to help you recognize what's possible and how to turn what might seem impossible into possible and then into inevitable. And that's kind of, I call it like, there's a little bridge over the, there's a river, it's called the river of misery. And there's a little bridge over the river of misery. And on one side of the bridge, you're in the land of impossible. And on the other side of the bridge, you're in the land of inevitable. And that coach is gonna guide you plank by plank. It's a little wooden bridge, plank by plank from the land of impossible. The peak of the little wooden bridge is possible. And then over to the land of inevitable. They want to, they, they're there to hold your hand through that process. And they're not going to just push you into the river of misery and let you float down the stream, right? They're going to walk over with you. I, I think you also just described the difference between an excellent designer and a meth designer. There you go. Because I've, I've, I've heard that, I've heard that a million times, uh, you know, having to hold the client's hand to make them take a leap when yeah. something they don't truly understand. Right, right. We're work. We're we're building a house right now. Um, we're, maybe we got four months to go, and we we've been working with the designer since day one. We just ordered all of our furniture. It's very exciting. We ordered that probably two months ago. But anyway, yeah. that was kind of the last step. But she's, you know, I don't know. Like I can't envision some of the things, and she's definitely pushed us out of our comfort zone. Yeah. And when working with her now for what seems like two years, it's probably been almost two years. And and she's definitely been able to help us see what's possible and then make it inevitable by using her skills, talents, and resources. So it's kind of fun to watch that process. Yeah. And and being able to paint that picture in in your mind to, to help 100%. you see it. A hundred percent. And that's sometimes what we'll say to her, help us paint this picture. Like, what is this going to... What look and feel do you envision? Help us experience that, even though it hasn't been necessarily created yet. 